is News 3 Now at 5. And thanks for staying with us. It appears a Janesville man will be staying in the Columbia County Jail for quite some time. A judge set his bond at $5 million today, accused of shooting and killing a woman. Our Charlotte Deleste explains the reasoning for the high cash figure. Charlotte? Susan and Eric, the Columbia County District Attorney says this is the third case involving Jeremy Mondi and the victim. Prosecutors charged him with four counts, including first-degree intentional homicide today in court. Police were called to the View Hotel in Wisconsin Dells Sunday morning for a welfare check. That's when they found the woman's body. The criminal complaint says Mondi told police he and the woman were drunk and struggling over a gun, and that's when it went off and killed the woman. But later, Mondi said he shot the woman in self-defense. The family of the victim says they are worried for their own safety. And the last time he was given bail, it costed my sister her life. And from the reports that we've received, he showed no remorse with the police. So he has no problem with coming after us next. We're in fear of our life. Court records show that Mondi was charged with six counts, including strangulation and suffocation, just 10 days before the homicide occurred. While Mondi's bail has been set at $5 million, the state did ask the judge to hold Mondi without bail. There will be a detention hearing to decide that next week. Charlotte, thank you. The Dane County Sheriff's Office investigating after a body was found in a burned down home. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says it happened on West Irby Road. This is the town of Blue Mount, just before midnight Wednesday. A person driving by saw flames, called 9 when crews arrived, the home fully on fire, it burned to the ground. While investigating yesterday, crews found human remains inside. The cause of that fire remains under investigation. The person has not been identified. A local radio DJ accused of having child pornography may face new charges of human trafficking. Matthew Bradshaw Jones, who goes by Jackson Jones on the radio, was in court this afternoon. He could be free on a signature bond as soon as tonight. Brady Mallory with the new details of what landed Jones there in the first place and why the case against him is growing. Brady? According to the criminal complaint, Jones is accused of having at least one image of child pornography. But in court, there was a lot of conversation about whether so-called fantasy chats could lead to additional charges. Charges. Jones told detectives he used the site's Tumblr and Wicker for sex chats and fantasies and would pretend to be other people while online. Jones said he would often like to reshare, like or reshare a variety of images on the site. An assistant DA for Dane County says Jones also offered to traffic two children during those chats. Jones' defense argues his client wasn't serious and didn't actually go through with that. Given what is alleged here and likely the charges that are possibly going to be added, we might be looking at not just one, but uh, numerous uh, mandatory minimum prison charges, uh, which creates a whole different dynamic. All it is is talk. It's fantasy chat. And I suspect that all of that was put in to the complaint for a couple reasons. One, to grandstand because of who Mr. Jones is. And two, to, to try to convince you that this is worse than it is. According to the complaint, Jones told investigators it was just what he calls stupid taboo talk and also admitted he knows he threw his whole life away. The judge says Jones can't have any contact with any minors and no access to the Internet. Jones is no longer listed on Q106.3's website. We've contacted the station for comment but haven't heard back yet. Brady, thank you. U.S. Marshals have arrested a 26-year-old man in connection with a triple shooting that took place on Madison's west side in October. Jeffrey Briggs was arrested in connection with that shooting. The U.S. Marshals found and arrested Briggs at a hotel in the 4800 block of Hayes Road this morning. Happened back on Halloween. One person was found dead outside the Wexford Ridge apartment complex. Two other teens were hospitalized. Both survived. Briggs was booked into the Dane County Jail on multiple charges, including first degree intentional homicide. A sunny and still cool start to the weekend, but an alert day is in the forecast for some possible snow. Let's get a look at your first warned forecast with Gary. That'll be on Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. We've been talking about that for the last couple of days and still looks to be right on track. Let's start out by looking at visible cloud track. Of course, lots of snow on the ground. That's keeping temperatures cold, but we did have the sunshine today. Most of the clouds have been to our south and to our east. There has been some light snow across parts of north central Illinois and also across Lake Michigan into uh, lower Michigan. But we
Well, Wisconsin right now pretty much free of precipitation. Last night, temperatures for the most part stayed above zero. Lone Rock did drop to one below zero and Prairie du Chien two below zero. But here in Madison, we stayed at seven above and current temperatures are in the upper teens to around 20 degrees. Now, with clear skies tonight or skies clearing out, that will allow temperatures to drop off pretty quickly. It will be below zero early tomorrow morning. There is that alert day for Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. That is for one to three inches of snow accumulation. That could lead to some slippery road surfaces. There also is an air quality advisory until 3 p.m. Sunday afternoon for all of southern Wisconsin for uh, particulate matter in the air. People who are sensitive to uh, pollution may want to try to remain indoors as much as possible because of the light winds. Otherwise, we're looking for a low temperature of about 2 below zero with skies becoming mostly clear overnight. Tomorrow, look for a high of 23 with mostly sunny skies, but that snow arrives Sunday afternoon and it's followed by temperatures that'll be milder than we've seen in quite some time. I'll tell you how warm it'll get in just a few minutes. All right, Gary, thank you. Another day of cases decreasing and over 40,000 vaccinations were administered. Today, 774 new cases of the virus were reported by state health officials. This comes as another group of more than 40,000 people were vaccinated, about 400 fewer than yesterday. Over 1.1 million doses of a COVID vaccine have been administered. DHS officials say nearly 315,000 or 5.4% of Wisconsinites have received both of their COVID vaccines. And here in Dane County, nearly 44,000 or 8% of residents have received both doses. Governor Tony Evers and UW System President and Tommy Thompson toured a COVID-19 vaccination clinic at UW Oshkosh today. The community vaccination site opened this week. During the visit, Governor Evers signed a bill allowing pharmacy technicians and students to administer COVID-19 vaccines under certain circumstances. They need to have certain certifications, they must complete at least two hours of injection training, and they need to be supervised by a pharmacist. The governor says as we work on the increasing on increasing the available vaccine supply, this measure will help maximize the state's capacity to administer vaccines. And as the state works to get those COVID-19 vaccines to every corner of Wisconsin, more of the smaller community pharmacies are being allocated some doses, but some still have not gotten any. After two weeks of getting no doses, Newhouser Pharmacy on Monroe Street was told they'd be getting 60 this upcoming Monday. They have a list of almost 600 people who have signed up on their waiting list, although not all of those people are currently eligible. They were able to vaccinate 83 people in their 80s and 90s three weeks ago, now moving on to patients in their 70s next Tuesday. I requested 120 for this week or for this upcoming week. Um, and we got 60. So, I mean, at this point, I'm happy to get some. And if it's half of what I request, it's half of what I request, but at least I can help 60 more people. And she recommends people get on multiple wait lists at multiple pharmacies. That'll give you a better chance of getting a dose. She expects some of the people that she'll call to schedule an appointment might have one set up somewhere else already. But in smaller towns, it's not as easy to find multiple pharmacies with access to vaccines. And we'll have more on the only pharmacy in Partyville being denied doses again on News 3 Now at 6. The Alliant Energy Center seems to have impressed federal inspectors who could name it a mass vaccination site. We found out today the feds did a walkthrough of the grounds and buildings last Friday. The Dane County Executive's Office says the feedback on both the facility and the plan put in place to administer vaccines was positive. County officials say the Alliant Energy Center could distribute as many as 6,000 6, vaccines per day. The county is hoping to hear a final decision from the federal government in the coming days. Well, the cold and snowy weather across the country is causing some vaccine shipments and deliveries to be delayed. Today, the White House said winter weather has temporarily delayed shipment of 6 million vaccine doses. Officials say those vaccines won't spoil. They're safe in warehouses. The weather could impact vaccine deliveries for the next one to two weeks, though. According to the CEO of an organization serving local health departments across the U.S., UPS says it has an extensive contingency plan in place to complete vaccine deliveries and drivers are still making their pickups and deliveries where conditions allow them to stay safe. An ever-changing number that would allow Dane County to open up more is trending in the right direction. Well, right now, Dane County contact tracers are getting a hold of people who have tested positive more quickly. Madeline O'Neill explains the process and what the rollout of vaccines means for tracing. Maddie? Well, the main difference with the vaccines is CDC guidelines. Now, contact tracers won't advise someone who's fully vaccinated, meaning 14 days after their final shot to quarantine. What a relief if you're now exposed and you're vaccinated that you don't have to quarantine. 
with vaccinations out in the open. Contact tracing continues behind the scenes. Our job is to get a hold of people as fast as we can. When cases spiked in Wisconsin in the fall, that made things harder for contact tracers from Dane to Jefferson County. At certain times, the number of cases that we were confirming each day was so high that our contact tracing teams weren't able to effectively reach every single contact um, of a positively confirmed individual. Now that testing and cases have slowed down, the Jefferson County Health Department is back to being able to reach out to those who may have been exposed. They're also getting a hold of people who tested positive within about a day. And so it's really important for us to continue to mitigate that spread. The lower case counts have helped contact tracers in Dane County as well. I think maybe now we can take a little bit more time and, and breathe a bit. A main measure of tracing is what percent of positive cases are contacted by public health within 48 hours of the test being collected. That was at its lowest in November at 15%. For the first time since September, it's now at more than 70%. So that's really, really good. It's an improvement. The sooner a contact tracer can complete an interview with four pages of these questions, the sooner they can figure out where the virus might be going next. Case could spin off 10 contacts, 20 contacts. It's behind the scenes work that makes a clear difference. And the faster we do that, then um, the less cases spread and the numbers go down. The public health workers I talked with today expect contact tracing to go on for a while. In the meantime, they say it's still just as important to follow the public health guidelines. Maddie O'Neill reporting. Maddie, thank you. New records from Dane County are showing just how many fines the county has issued for public health order violations during the pandemic. Investigative reporter Naomi Coles has the details. In the fall, Public Health Madison and Dane County says they decided to ramp up enforcement of their public health orders. That's resulted in tens of thousands of dollars in fines. Records I requested show businesses are on the hook for about $53,000 and individuals are facing more than $137,000 for large gathering violations. And we try to reach out to the business first or the entity first and provide education when we can. And then if we get a second complaint, we would go out. Some places we receive so many complaints, like say 10 at once, that we feel like we need to do an on-site immediately and see what the what is going on and ensure individuals are complying. The attorney handling public health prosecution says at least 90% of the large gathering violations in the county have been college students. And tonight at 6, we're digging deeper into this data and exploring a lawsuit that argues all of these fines should be illegal. For News 3 Investigates, I'm Naomi Coles. Many people who have recovered from COVID-19 are continuing to show more chronic symptoms that may last for many months. The majority of the symptoms reported include fatigue, which is universally experienced, muscle weakness, some patients can have shortness of breath, ongoing chest pain, joint pains, difficulty sleeping, uh, some patients have trouble with worsening depression or anxiety. UW doctors say patients who were hospitalized with COVID, studies show that three quarters of them show symptoms after being discharged from the hospital. About 20% have decreased lung function six months after their discharge. Other patients who had mild symptoms, only about 10% of those patients have had long haul symptoms. More to come on News Tree Now at five up next. Hate crimes against Asian Americans are on the rise across the country. Hear how political leaders are responding. And while COVID cases remain low in Wisconsin, they are trending up at UW-Madison now. How UW officials are responding. That story next hour, News 3 Now at 6. And a quick check of the markets to close the week. Marginal movement today, the Dow adding just a point. NASDAQ up 9, S&P lost 7, and we'll be back in a moment. It's the A1 Furniture and Mattress Instant Cash Back Event. Save up to 40% off store-wide. Plus, get $50 instant cash back on every $500 you spend. Take advantage of four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in-store or online only at A1 Furniture. President's Day means more savings at the Brothers Main President's Day Super Sale. 
Get in right now for the sale of the season with more savings on more brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. We've got a lot more satisfaction for you at Maine, like up to 18 months 0% financing and free delivery to make life a little easier. Hey, there's more home satisfaction at the Moore Store. The President's Day Super Sale. More selection, more savings, and more satisfaction today at the Brothers Maine, your local store for more since 1938. Erectile dysfunction for men of all ages has become much more common. In fact, most men don't realize that 90% of erectile dysfunction is a direct result of broken down old blood vessels. This causes a lack of blood flow that is critical when achieving an erection. With our state-of-the-art technology, we're able to stimulate new stem cell growth right in our office with no pills, no needles, no surgery, and no pain. To book your consultation and get back to natural functionability, call Peak Performance for Men today. Every year, thousands of Wisconsin residents make the difficult choice between eating or heating their home. So News 3 Now and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund would like to thank all who donated to our Week of Warmth. Your generous gifts of warmth will directly help your neighbors in crisis. For more information about the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund, visit kwwf.org. Week of Warmth for the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund, sponsored by Viridian Homes. You thought you were the only ones who'd go someplace just because you liked the name of the town. The only ones who didn't just want to see the world, but needed to explore every corner of it. You thought you were the only ones until you discovered others just like you. Jeep Cherokee, there's only one. Right now, get 0% financing for 84 months or 4,750 total cash allowance on select 2021 Jeep Cherokee models. Hurry to the Jeep President's Day event today. Get instant cash back on every mattress purchase over $500 only at A1 Furniture. Save up to 40% off top name brand mattresses. Plus get instant cash back and four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in store or online now at A1 Furniture. Tonight at 6, News 3 Now investigates, finds Dane County is one of the strictest in the state when it comes to fining businesses who don't follow public health orders. And a month into the spring semester, the UW-Madison campus sees another spike in COVID cases. It's been 10 years since Wisconsin's controversial Act 10 legislation was born to waves of backlash. News 3 Now examines how Act 10 has reshaped education in our state. Has it had a significant impact on how well students learn? Monday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. A disturbing trend since the start of the pandemic has been the sharp increase in anti-Asian racism. And now Congress is taking steps to fight the trend. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi joined congressional colleagues on Zoom where they, chaired, where they shared chilling stories of attacks against Asians. The Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus says since the pandemic began, more than 3,000 incidents have been reported. California Congressman Ted Lewis says the hostility was exacerbated by language from former President Trump. He spent months and months and months of inflaming prejudices and passions against the Asian American community through racist terms like Kung Flu. Caucus members are calling for passage of the No Hate Act and asked for a meeting with the Department of Justice and they're urging victims to step forward to help authorities track and end this wave of violence. President Biden says the U.S. is stepping away from the previous administration's America First policies. The U.S. will provide $4 billion to deliver COVID vaccines to poor nations. That money comes from funds Congress already appropriated for international vaccination efforts. The White House says this will not impact the ability to vaccinate America. Americans. Today is also the day U.S. officially rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement, which former President Trump pulled out of back in 2017. Let's get a check at the weekend forecast now. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti has the details. Gary? Well, the winds are pretty light. That will allow temperatures to really fall off tonight into uh, probably below zero territory. But also with the light winds, we have the problem of particulate pollution that's starting to build up in the atmosphere. So the Department of Natural Resources has issued an air quality advisory for particulate pollution until 3 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, for people who are uh, really prone to uh, breathing disorders or uh, have problems with pollution, 
try to stay indoors as much as possible, at least until the winds start to pick up and that air mixes out a little bit. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Temperatures should fall just below zero by early tomorrow morning, but it will be in the lower 20s for highs tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we're looking for some snow, mainly in the afternoon and into Sunday night, about one to three inches of accumulation, and that will be followed by temperatures. It could be in the lower 40s by Tuesday and high temperatures in the middle 30s for uh, Monday and for Wednesday as well. There is an alert day in the forecast for Sunday afternoon and Sunday night for that light snow. It might be a little slushy, so that could lead to some slippery road surfaces. But as far as impacts are concerned, generally this will be a minor system, not looking at a major winter storm. But the snow might be a little bit heavier and perhaps a little bit harder to shovel. Most people, it should not be too much of an issue. Right now, no snow across Wisconsin. There is a little bit of light snow to the south across northern Illinois and then lake effect snow on the other side of Lake Michigan. Farther out to the east, that departing storm system continues to hit parts of New England with the accumulating snow. But around here, we're looking at about a one to three inch snowfall from Sunday afternoon through Sunday night. Uh, for the most part, the uh, areas that see the three inch amounts will be scattered around. I'm not looking for one area or another to be a little more favored for the heavier snow totals. And as we look at future track, you can see how the skies clear out tonight. That will allow temperatures to drop to just below zero. But notice the winds very light and variable. They're just the high pressure sitting almost directly overhead. So because of that, that's why we have that problem with uh, air pollution. Now as we head into tomorrow, we'll look for sunny skies, but the winds will become a little more southerly and that will actually cause temperatures to start rising tomorrow night. And on Sunday, the snow comes in from the west, overspreads much of southern Wisconsin during the afternoon into uh, Sunday evening and then pulls out after midnight on Sunday night. As we check out weather track across the country, you can see that snow up in uh, parts of uh, Michigan, but out to the west, there's really no major weather system. The system that will bring us the snow for uh, Sunday is just moving into the Pacific Northwest, but it's not a major storm uh, system. And the jet stream out to our west is from west to east, meaning it's milder Pacific air that's heading in our direction. So with time, that high pressure system off to the east or to the west of us will move to the east, and that will bring our winds into a more southerly direction, and we'll start to see that warm up again. 23 for high tomorrow with mostly sunny skies after dropping down to about two below zero by early tomorrow morning. Look for a high of 31 on Sunday. Again, that snow in the afternoon and at night. Monday will be breezy with highs in the mid-30s. Lower 40s for Tuesday, mid-30s for Wednesday. Thursday now just looks like a couple of flurries and then some snow chances from Saturday afternoon into Sunday morning of next weekend with temperatures at or slightly below normal. As we check out traffic on this Friday, not seeing any issues on the Beltline right now as far as uh, any uh, travel problems. Uh, we've seen traffic moving pretty steadily in either direction, so it's the usual 15-minute commute on the Beltline. 25 minutes from I th uh, from the Beltline southward to Janesville on I-3990. 17 minutes to Sauk City from Middleton on US-12 and downtown to Sun Prairie. will take you 18 minutes on East Washington Avenue and US-151. That's your News 3 Now for sworn traffic. Gary, thank you. And ahead on News 3 Now at 5, how UW-Madison is helping celebrate Black History Month. That story ahead, News 3 Now at 5. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's your last chance for the biggest President's Day sale in Wisconsin at Ashley Home Store. Get our very best deals of the season, including door busters up to 50% off. Plus, take bonus holiday discounts off our sale prices and interest-free financing for five years. Ashley Home Store. Menards has everything you need to update your bathroom. Start with a new Tuscany faucet. We have over 100 options to choose from so you can find the right faucet for your bathroom. This Mariana bath faucet is $62.99. Then update your floors with Mohawk Vinyl Flooring. Home Expressions Click Vinyl Plank is durable and waterproof, making it ideal for laundry rooms and baths. $1.99 a square foot. Now, during Menards, race to savings sale. Save big money at Menards. It's a fact. We use our internet and TV more than ever, with most of us spending nearly seven hours a day online. So it's no wonder thousands of families are switching to Spectrum, because most families have up to eight connected devices, which means they need even more speed. Switch to Spectrum Internet and get the fastest starting speeds for the price. 200 megabits for just $44.99 a month, with a free modem and free security suite included. Call 833-546-4499. When it comes to TV, we're watching more than ever. In fact, 80% of us watch TV every day. Spectrum TV lets you catch all your favorite sports, news, and more live. Plus,
Plus, download the free Spectrum TV app and watch on your devices. Switch to Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-546-4499. The fact is, Spectrum has the best services at the best price. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. We'll even buy out your current contract. Call 833-546-4499. Every year, thousands of Wisconsin residents make the difficult choice between eating or heating their home. So News 3 Now and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund would like to thank all who donated to our Week of Warmth. Your generous gifts of warmth will directly help your neighbors in crisis. For more information about the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund, visit kwwf.org. Week of Warmth for the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund, sponsored by Viridian Homes. Right now is a great time for a fresh start with Feldco. Get your home improvement project started today and take advantage of 40% off Feldco's energy efficient windows. Plus, no interest until 2022. Tackle the to-do list early and enjoy the warmer weather ahead. 40% off windows end soon. Call now. Feldco, improving lives one home at a time. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Wisconsin's biggest President's Day appliance sale ends Tuesday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Get guaranteed delivery in five days or less on in-stock appliances and no interest financing for 18 months at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Organizers of a Black History Month conference at UW-Madison hope to eliminate gaps here in Wisconsin by focusing on the next generation. This will be the third year that UW-Madison is offering the Black History Education Conference. It's all about coming up with solutions to help eliminate the gaps that exist in the state of Wisconsin and across the country. Some different panels this year in, uh, include a look into equity in schools, STEM professionals of color and promoting self-worth. It feels like a family when I go in there. It feels like my, my a, a big family, a big family. We're all learning. We're learning how to improve education for for ourselves and others. Um, and and I and I just look forward to the to the feeling and, and the happiness and joy that I get from being around the people that I know love me. So. We have more information on how to sign up and participate in the Black Education History Conference. It's up right now on Channel3000.com. Fans haven't been allowed to watch many of their favorite sports this year, of course, due to the pandemic, but that will be changing during March Madness. The NCAA announcing this morning the NCAA tournament will allow up to 25% capacity for all of the March Madness games in Indianapolis. The 25% will include all participants, staff, and family members, as well as fans. Masks and social distancing will be required. The entire tournament will take place in the state of Indiana, the final four is in Indy. Selection Sunday set for March 14th. And stay with us. We'll have a final check of your first born forecast in just a moment. It's the A1 Furniture and Mattress Instant Cash Back Event. Save up to 40% off store wide. Plus, get $50 instant cash back on every $500 you spend. Take advantage of four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in store or online only at A1 Furniture. Winning Motor Trend Truck of the Year three times in a row. That had never been done before. Then again, neither had a 12-inch touchscreen or a thousand pound-feet of torque, or being the only pickup on Car and Driver's 10 best list. Never been done before. It's just kind of our thing. During the Ram President's Day event, get 0% financing for 72 months, plus $3,750 total bonus cash on the 2021 Ram 1500. My husband's parents were visiting, and I promised them a home-cooked meal, except my boss had a different idea. He tells me, hold your horses. I call my husband, and I say, I'm slammed, and he's like, quick trip, and I'm like, bingo. At quick trip, I say, what's good tonight? And the quick trip guy is like, everything, but I go for the hand-breaded fried chicken, and I go make that times four. Being none the wiser, my mother-in-law is like, I always said she's a keeper. I'll run with that. Quick trip, we got you covered. It's time to upgrade your downtime. It's time for Stressless. Now at the Century House. Go from one grade of leather to a higher one for free. Or save $300 on Stressless Sunrise Recliners. Don't wait. Save hundreds on Stressless Comfort. At the Century House. 
3420 University Avenue in Madison. Are you sick of the areas of your home being cold in the winter or hot in the summer? Your house is a complete system of components that need to work together, similar to the human body. Just like us, your home needs to breathe too. If we're letting our home breathe fresh air, we'll be healthier and regulate our temperature better. Wouldn't it be great if we could show you all the areas needing improvement in just minutes without tearing the house apart? That is what our thermal imaging does for you. It will show the temperature differences and areas of air exchange. Then you'll know what areas need to be improved. Just like going to the doctor, except these doctors do house calls. This will also help in preventing the entrance of harmful pollutants inside your house. You can now easily bring down the energy bills and have a durable and safe home environment with Fry Construction. Visit FryConstruction.com to schedule your free professional house call with a thermal imaging and insulation specialist. Get instant cash back on every mattress purchase over $500 only at A1 Furniture. Save up to 40% off top name brand mattresses. Plus get instant cash back and four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in store or online now at A1 Furniture. Gary's back. One final check of the forecast. Well, right now, Wisconsin free of precipitation. Uh, all the snow is to our south and to our east. But there is an air quality advisory in effect until 3 p.m. Sunday for all of southern Wisconsin for particulate matter that might be in the atmosphere. Uh, people who are sensitive uh, to breathing problems might have some issues there. Temperatures are in the upper teens here in Madison. We're at 17 degrees. By tomorrow, we'll, we'll drop to just below zero. But the winds will be light, so there won't be much of a wind chill. Look for a high of 23 tomorrow with sunny skies. Then an alert day for snow Sunday afternoon, Sunday night for about one to three inches of snow. Temperatures in the 40s by Tuesday and then back down to the lower 30s by the end of next week. All right, Gary, thank you very much. We'll be back in 30 minutes for news from now at six. Stay tuned now for the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell.